Hey, 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 everyone. Before I even get started on this uh, exercise here, yeah. you see, we're doing uh, exercise 14, and this is considered as one of those exercises that are a little bit challenging, right? So, before I get started, here's what I want you to know that, and here's what I want you to know. And that is, uh, you see, teachers open the door for you, right? But you are the one that you need to enter by yourself, okay? You would not expect me to do each and everything for you, right? Basically, I'm showing you different concepts here. You're the one to take whatever research you learned out of this channel and then apply it somewhere else. It could be other exercises, could be your own project or assignment you were given in class or whatever. But you don't want to miss the point here, okay? That I am here to simplify things for you, but most of the task. Is your responsibility okay so that's gonna be it enough words let me read through the problem now okay use for loops to print a diamond like the one below allow user to specify how high the diamond should be okay let's jump on do it let's jump on do it what exercise was it? Was it 14? Of course it was 14. So we'll go rows, which simply represents how high the diamond should be. Enter number of rows. So here's the deal. I'll have a variable called number of stars. Okay, I'll have a variable called number of stars and then at first I'll initialize it to one. Another one called number of spaces at a given what? At a given line. Number of spaces it will be initialized to rows minus one. Okay. So far so good. I am hoping. What I then wanna do, I wanna let me just do this. Deal with the top part. Okay. Once I'm done doing that, I'll simply go in I in range and then I put rows. Oops, of course I don't want that. Okay. Up to now, I'm only dealing with this top part, right? For a moment, forget about the bottom part. So, simply go print. I'll start by displaying a bunch of spaces. Number of. Bases. For the slightest moment that got distracted. Oh, where was I? Where was I? Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I was displaying the number of stars. I was displaying the number of stars. Okay. Where was I? Where was I? Where was I? Okay. So I'm displaying the number of spaces. I need to put that right there and then I need to display the number of stars a certain number of times I need to go I wanna put a star I wanna display it number of stars times number of stars 
times okay of course i don't need oops really of course i don't need anything in between so i'll set that for my separator now i want to update my number of spaces variable it's gonna be number of spaces minus one and the number of stars it's gonna be number of stars minus two okay this alone takes care of the top part now let's deal with the bottom part i have to update my number of spaces variable and the number of does variable stars minus what minus two minus two four in range okay now put rows I'll put rows what else what else do i want to do okay i want to display a certain number of spaces and a certain number of stars just like i did here however as for my number of stars i want to go number of stars minus two Again, it's kind of hard to understand one's algorithm at a glance. But if you sit down with the pen and the paper, it tends to make even more sense. Okay. Now, let me update my number of spaces. It's going to be number of spaces plus one. And my number of stars, not spars, stars, bah. number of stars, <laughs> number of stars, minus two. Okay. Am I missing something? Probably, probably I am, but we're going to see in a moment. If there is indeed the case, let me see. Let me see. Am I missing something here? You know what? Let me hit the run button, and then in case. In case uh, there's something missing, then I'll see that by having a compile error. Okay, and again, right here, we're initializing our OPEPs. Let me just hit the round button first. Oops, invalid syntax error. I forgot putting I there. Okay, how many rows? How many? Rows? Let me see. let's go for seven. Really, really, really. Give me a sec, you guys. I'll get back to you once I've uh, 
found out the stupidest error. I can be really stupid sometimes. You see, the problem had to do with the fact that, you see, for the top part, let's check out the number of stars. The pattern, okay, on the number of stars. From one line to the next, to the next. Okay, you see, we started with only a single star and the next, on the next line we had three of them the line after that we had five so that's why we've got to increase our number of stars by two rather than decreasing them by two we decrease them on the bottom part see right here we had about five of them and on the line after that we've got three of them no wonder we had that uh, logical error so let's start over and see what we get let's try seven boom it seems like we have the exact thing one two three four five six seven one two three four five six let's try uh one two three four five six seven As we fold from allow the you to specify how high the thing is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or oh, probably uh I might be wrong in a way that you see seven is only for this part starting from the top star all the way up to this right here okay it seems like you see my my, my diamond is not in line with the number that we actually retrieve from the user okay however there is not a hard nail to crack we can take care of that by simply modifying our code a little bit but then again you shouldn't miss the point here the point is you've got to be able to grab to grasp different concepts okay this writer shouldn't be too much of a deal why because we do have what we want to have on screen it is just that the problem is with our height of our diamond okay you know what i'm gonna leave this as it is as opposed to trying to go back to my code that way you guys will get the precise thing that you want me to to have okay so that's gonna be it for this tutorial you guys i'm wrapping up even though the solution does not give us the exact thing we want okay yeah 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 you guys yeah okay you guys i'm so sorry for giving you out something that isn't precisely as what we have on the textbook i'm gonna have to wrap this uh, to tutorial up, I'm afraid. <laughs>